Hello, I'm Killer Rubo, and welcome to Chapter 2, the morning after the level that took me the longest to practice. Uh, here's a cutscene. Hey, I see fake versions of myself. I must be seeing double. So there's Tencent News for voice acting of Hard World, and here's our first chick soldier of the game. He's an exact clone of Rocket Birds, except black with a black star in his head. But we're going to murder him just like we murdered the Penguin soldiers. Here you can hear the cutscene music playing up. And here's my favourite uh, chicken of the game, we're going to be keeping him alive. I like to call him Fred. But yeah, the combo music is, starts when you start murdering enemies in a higher enemy area and stops when you stop murdering enemies. So let's not stop murdering enemies because it's awesome. As you can see it's got quite a long wait time. You'll hear it cut out um, in some parts when I go back and get sense. But for the most part, it'd be playing during this video. One thing I don't like about this game is that the enemies always spawn in particular locations. Uh, I can memorize where they are and be prepared for them pretty easily when I'm practicing these games and I remember it. Anyway, here's our first gun. Here's the machine gun. The machine gun keeps enemies in the air longer than the pistol, but it does less damage. But I think the trade-off is good because uh, if the enemies are in the air longer, it means they can do less damage than you because they can, can't directly shoot you, which is a good thing. However, you'll notice me um, getting shot quite a few times here. I didn't. This is, wasn't my best run of this level. But I like it anyway because of one reason we'll be seeing later. Anyway, here we're going to be picking up the red key card. What I like about this particular level... Oh, here is a hiding space by the way. So that's us using the background to get our advantage and using that big pillar. Yeah, here's the uh, level spawn. I just turned around and killed that guy but before I even knew I was there. And here we do it again. Yeah, what I like about this level is the dark and dreary nature of it. I mean, we did just drop through a silo to get here, so it makes sense. And the high volume of enemies. So here's a poster for the auxiliaries with a budgie. I think it's a budgie soldier and a penguin soldier. They're both carrying shotguns, a gun that we're going to be seeing later in the game. Anyway. It's me getting the first sign of the game, and the first sign that required gun juggling. As you can see, it's very hard. Um, you, you can get that sign without gun juggling. Gonna murder four chicken soldiers here before going back to get the second and the third signs. So, you might be wondering why I left uh, Free to Life, and the smart person people. Um, may have already figured it out. I need him to juggle to uh, sign. The third sign to be exact, not the second one. But yeah, as we're going back through the level, I might as well talk about the aesthetics a bit more. Very dark and dreary with lots of rust and broken walls and stuff, and I really like it for that. It's got nice light shining down from various openings in the ceiling, which shows that it's definitely underground. But it's nice and dirty, and dark, and dreary. Uh, here we go, coming up to Fred. There he is. Hello. We're just going to be passing him and getting the f second sound of the game. And now going back to deal with him. So we're just going to walk to the left of the hand side of the screen, which I fail at completely end up rolling into the next screen. And missing Fred entirely, so I have to wait for him to do his rounds. But yeah, there you can see the enemy. They actually do walk through signs. I wasn't lying in the last chapter. Uh, walk through screens. I wasn't lying in the last chapter. Anyway, we're gonna push, uh, punch him up into that ledge. Hopefully, I can do it pretty soon. Nope. There we. Uh, nope. I. Um, this is, looks is way harder than lots. Anyway, we're gonna punch him up there and then wait, and then just minigun him into the sign. That is probably the hardest sign to get in the game and I did it on my first try. 
it was my first try of recording this, so I'm very happy with myself because that, when I was doing my practice run, it took me about six or seven tries to get that aside. Um, normally Fred would kill me before I even got the chance to get him up onto that ledge. Anyway, we'll be going moving to the third level now. As I said before, this level is very dark and dreary, and for having such an enemy he heavy level, there's not many health um, pickups, so I can, this is this is a hard level. I can see lots of new players getting killed a bunch of times in this on their first try, especially if they're trying to get all the signs in the game. Uh, I would not advise a new player to do that, because they'll probably be stuck in getting that first sign for a while as well as getting the third sign in the game because generally they'll kill Fred and Fred's the only chicken who can get to do that anyway here's the um, we're coming up to the third level now and then I'll be there's a cutscene and then I'll end the video hey that's mine what the well, it's time for some jet action. It is indeed time for some jet action with an all new video, uh, game type. Whoa! Oh my god, who was seeing this coming? I certainly didn't. Anyway, that's for the next video. Some jet action. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Killer Rhubarb.